Have you ever noticed how some people seem unshakably calm in the face of chaos, no matter what happens around them? What if I told you the secret to unshakable peace lies not in what happens to you, but in how you respond? Both Islamic teachings and timeless wisdom agree on this. Welcome to Bilal Abyssinia, where we explore timeless wisdom through Islamic teachings and the insights of great minds. In this video, we'll break down how to act as if nothing bothers you by mastering emotional control, detaching from worldly concerns, and controlling your reactions. Stay with me because these teachings will not only change how you handle life's challenges, but will also unlock inner peace. It's like they possess an inner strength, an invisible shield against the storms and challenges of life. This inner peace, this emotional control is not a superpower reserved for a select few individuals. It's a skill, a practice, a journey open to all who seek it with dedication. Within the teachings of Islam and the wisdom of great thinkers throughout history lies a roadmap to mastering our emotions and unlocking true tranquility and inner peace. True strength is not in overpowering others, but in mastering yourself. Control your anger, and nothing can control you. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, once said, The strong believer is better and more beloved to Allah than the weak believer, though there is good in both. This profound statement invites us to reflect on the true essence of strength. Many might assume this refers to physical strength, but true strength lies in the heart, in the ability to control our emotions and maintain inner peace. It's about the resilience of the spirit. It's about facing challenges with grace and responding to adversity with patience and wisdom. This inner strength is what truly defines a believer. This echoes the Stoic philosopher Epictetus who said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Our reactions shape our reality. True strength is not about avoiding hardship, but about choosing how we navigate the inevitable storms of life. It's about perseverance and determination. This emotional resilience is not about suppressing our feelings or pretending they don't exist. It's about understanding them, acknowledging them, and choosing how we respond. It's about being mindful and present in each moment. It's about recognizing the temporary nature of our emotions and not letting them control our actions. Emotions are fleeting but our responses can have lasting impacts. Just as a skilled captain steers a ship through rough seas, we can learn to navigate the waves of our emotions without being capsized by them. By mastering our inner world, we find true strength and peace. The material world with all its allure and distractions can easily consume us. We find ourselves caught in a never-ending cycle of wanting more, always seeking the next best thing. We chase after possessions, status, and fleeting pleasures, often at the expense of our inner peace. The constant pursuit of these external validations can leave us feeling empty and unfulfilled. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, offered guidance on this, saying, Live in this world as if you were a stranger or a traveler. This profound advice encourages us to view our time here as temporary and to focus on what truly matters. This doesn't mean rejecting the world or neglecting our responsibilities. Instead, it calls for a balanced approach, where we fulfill our duties without becoming overly attached to material gains. It's about understanding the temporary nature of our existence and not becoming overly attached to worldly things. Recognizing this impermanence helps us prioritize our spiritual and emotional well-being. This detachment from worldly concerns is key to finding inner peace. By letting go of our incessant desires, we create space for tranquility and self-reflection, as Lao Tzu wisely said, to be content with what one has is, by itself, to be rich. True wealth lies in appreciating the simple joys and blessings that life offers. When we release our grip on the need for more, we open ourselves up to contentment and gratitude for what we already have. This shift in perspective allows us to live more fully and joyfully in the present moment. Section 4. The Silence of a Master. Anger, a powerful emotion, can cloud our judgment and lead us down destructive paths. It can make us say and do things we later regret, causing harm to ourselves and others. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us, If any of you becomes angry, let him keep silent. This wisdom encourages us to pause and reflect before reacting. In the heat of the moment when anger threatens to consume us, silence is our greatest ally. It provides a moment of calm amidst the storm. It allows us to regain control, to choose a more measured response. By taking a step back, we can see the situation more clearly and act with intention. This concept of choosing our response is echoed by Viktor Frankl, who wrote, Between stimulus and response, there is a space. 
In that space lies our power. In that space is our power to choose our response. It is a moment of potential where we can decide how to act. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. By choosing wisely, we can transform our anger into understanding and compassion. We always have a choice in how we react, even in the face of provocation. This choice defines our character and shapes our destiny. Section 5. Choosing Our Response Silence doesn't mean suppressing our anger or pretending it doesn't exist. It's about creating a space, a pause, before we react. In that space, we can choose to respond with wisdom, compassion, and understanding. We can choose to communicate our feelings assertively but respectfully, without resorting to anger or aggression. This mastery over our emotions is not a sign of weakness, but of immense strength. It's about recognizing the power of our words and actions and choosing to use them constructively. Section 6. A Tapestry of Wisdom The teachings of Islam, woven together with the insights of great thinkers across time and cultures, offer a rich tapestry of wisdom on mastering our emotions. These teachings are not confined to a single faith or philosophy. They are universal truths accessible to all who seek them. From the Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him, emphasis on patience and detachment to Epictetus's reminder that our reactions matter more than events, and Lao Tzu's focus on contentment, these teachings provide a roadmap to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Section 7. Your Journey to Inner Peace the journey to mastering our emotions is an ongoing process, not a destination. There will be challenges, setbacks, and moments when we falter. But the key is to keep practicing, to keep striving for that inner peace that comes with emotional control. Remember, you possess the strength within you to choose your response, to let go of what you cannot control, and to find tranquility amidst the storms of life. Embrace the wisdom of Islam and the insights of great thinkers, and embark on your journey to unlock the inner ring of power, the power of emotional mastery and lasting peace. We have plenty more thought-provoking content coming your way. Also, check out our other video on related topic. Click here to watch it now. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Peace and blessings.